Here's the original drawing, and here's the sculpture that I made from it. Stick around. In this video, I'll show you how I did it. So let's start with the tracing of our rabbit, and that's going to give us the sizes of the pieces that we need. So we'll have something to measure against, and that's a simple matter of tracing them out. These shapes just become our guidelines, kind of what we use to measure our sculpted pieces against. I'm inclined to build this little guy out of Super Sculpey, which we'll do, and I think that's probably enough clay right there, probably to build the whole thing. Okay, so my first job is going to be to cut some wire that are going to make, going to make the leg pieces, and we're going to make, there's going to be very minimal armature making for this piece. It's small. It's not going to require a very large armature. I just want to get this wire to kind of straighten out. Something about like that. So that wire armature is really almost more like a spinal cord. And I'm going to have it stick down into the base about a half an inch. Then to put in the wires, we'll drill some holes into the base, which will secure it nicely in there like that. And make a nice little sturdy wire armature, which I'll pack tightly with Magic Sculpt. And the Magic Sculpt is going to make a really good little rock solid base. And then we can let the Magic Sculpt harden for about an hour. And in the meantime, work on the ears. I shaped out the first ear and uh, got it pretty close and then opened it up with a tool and kind of scooped it out and uh, shaped it. And that seemed to work really well. The other ear, I thought it might be easier to flatten it out and then like a leaf and then shape it into an ear. And that worked pretty good too. Either way, I think both ears came out looking good and we're ready to move on to the next parts. And we'll start with the mouth. It's just a little round shape, but it's got a flat front, which I'm doing now. That little flat is where the lips are gonna live. I'll be able to change his expression how I want it. And then we'll move on to making the head, which I'm gonna start by using this just with a ball of clay. Now, I don't want it to be a tube. Again, I want it to have more of a shape than that. I want it to have a flat spot in the front and uh, like that, and that's where the eyes are going to live. But at the same time, I want him to have a nice little brain case in the back of his head, like that. The Magic Sculpt armature hardened up really nice, and then I just put a thin veneer of, uh, not Magic Sculpt, I just put a thin veneer of Super Sculpey firm on it. Um, that, this is why I like to make diagrams of what it is I'm building, because they're really useful for shaping parts and getting your proportions right. just makes it easy and quick. You don't have to eyeball so much. Um, it's just uh, the diagram kind of helps you, gets you going quicker, and gets the parts made quicker. I, I'm all in for anything that you know, makes life easy. And one of the things I really dislike about Super Sculpey, especially this Gray Firm Super Sculpey, is conditioning it. I can't stand kneading it and warming it with my hands and all like that. I was, I'm just far <laughs> I'm too lazy. I don't want to do that. It's too much work. So I find that I just stick it in the microwave. Like little pieces like these, that size, I stick that in the microwave for a few seconds on high, and it gets nice and soft and workable really quick. You still have to knead it a little bit, but man, you don't have to work that hard. So I find that much easier. Same with that. I just It makes it easier to kind of you know, adhere the pieces together because they're nice and soft when they come out of the microwave. So that's my little tip of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work so hard. You know, spend all your effort uh, sculpting, not doing chores like conditioning clay. Anyway, I get him shaped up and I use a variety of tools. And then uh, when I feel like he's getting almost ready to bake, and then I take a Q-tip coated in baby oil and get him nice, nicely smoothed out. Takes gets rid of fingerprints and it smooths shapes out. You can actually smooth, smooth this stuff out really well with that. Now the head shape and the ears came out of the oven and I'm going to attach the ears to the head and uh, just a, you know, and I like, I like, like things that are assembled out of parts. Um, so I'm going to use my handy dandy 3000 year old Sears drill to drill the holes and uh, yeah, it fit great. 
and uh, looking pretty good. I'm liking it. Now I can go ahead and uh, make the other parts, the eyes and the nose and the other details on the face. Okay, now is this the right size for the eyes? Way too big. Way too big. So let's cut this in half. See if that's going to be the right size for the eyes. They're pretty small. They are pretty small. Okay, let's push that on there. I want the eye to fill up that space. You've got big eyes. Bunners do, you know. Rabbits have big eyes. Rabbits have big eyes, no doubt. Okay, so there's that. Now, have I got a stamp small enough to work? I don't know. Let's try this one. Just for fun. Right, was that too big? Let's see. Get that thing aimed right, maybe. That would be good. Okay. I stamped a couple of eyes. <laughs> Can you guys even see that? They're, they're pretty teeny tiny. Let's put them on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nice. All right. Eyeballs are done. Can't live without my stamps. Stamps are the greatest things on the planet Earth. And now we have to make a little mouth. And in order to do that, we've got to roll out a really teeny little piece of clay, a little worm. So let's roll out a little worm. Ooh, that's long enough. That might be too long. I think I overrolled it. Yep, I think I overrolled that one. It needs to be a little shorter. I like to start with a ball and then let's roll it out. That's pretty good. It's going to have a slight curve in it, like about like that. Okay, and then take my wire tool and see if I can make a little smile. I'm going to press it in there like a little, almost like a little hot dog bun shape, like that. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's kind of pinch the corners a little bit. See how it looks. See if this is going to work. I mean, these tiny little parts are hard to handle. Hard to handle. Then I'm going to bend them ever so slightly. Oh yeah. A little more bend. And I think that if I can get them to sit on there. That's the hard part. That's going to work out. Just. I think that's going to work out just fine. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven and I put it in the oven, base and all, so this wood's still pretty hot. Ooh, ooh. But uh, didn't hurt it. And it also didn't hurt the magic sculpt armature in there at all. Let us see what this is going to look like. Put him on there. Put him on there. Oh, yeah. It's getting to be quite rabbit-like. It'll be most humorous. Let's take a look at this guy from a better angle. Oh yeah. He's coming along. He's coming along. He's gonna be pretty cute. I'm gonna put the tail on. I'm gonna put the front legs on. And the eyes and other stuff are cooking. And uh, so yeah, we're making good progress. All right, now it's going to be time to drill for the front legs. That's going to be a little tiny bit dicey, but we can do it. It's going to go right in there. Beautiful. And then the other one. Same deal. Hope you can see this. Same deal. Okay, now I should be able to cut the front legs to fit. So that one will go like that. That's one front leg. It's laying in there, perfect. Ooh. And then the other front leg. It's a little long, so we'll trim him. See what we got. Put him in there. Oh yeah. Nice. 
There's our front legs. They're going to get clayed in. And then we'll put on the front paws. Got the little feet on there. And now I'm just I'm just going to build his shoulders. You can see that I just put some wads of clay to hold it. And I'm just going to build his, build out his shoulders, even it out. And I'm almost inclined to bake this now. And then kind of finish the refining work on the, the shoulder part. Maybe add a little more mass here and there. But go ahead and bake this off. Toughen up those feet. It's not going to have to bake for about a couple of minutes. That's a small amount of clay I've added. Okay, let's bake it for a couple of minutes. After I took the piece out of the oven, I decided I didn't really like the wire front legs. I felt like he needed a little more meat on his bones uh, for a couple of reasons. One is I just, he didn't look finished, and I didn't think he'd look finished in the final piece. He'd look better with thicker legs. But one of the main reasons I did it was because of the mold making. Uh, it would have been possible to mold those thin wire legs, but it would have been tricky. And also in the final urethane castings, they would have been really fragile. Not only t difficult to take out of the molds, but just fragile in the final sculpt. So I thickened them up, and now I'm just polishing and, and finishing and smoothing and getting them ready to put in the molds. All right, here's our kid. <laughs> I hope you got something out of it. I hope you had fun. Next week, we're going to make a mold, make a bunch of castings, and get this guy painted up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.